So yeah. this is all this is all great. We've got a vagrant instance uh, or a virtual machine running on your local machine that's connected to hosted Chef and being managed by Chef. Although uh, it's kind of unfair to say it's really being managed by Chef because Chef isn't really doing anything yet on your virtual machine. Mm -hmm. uh, so I thought today we would go ahead and fix that up. Uh, mm -hmm. The first thing that I noticed is actually if you on your uh, terminal, if you run chef dash client, or, I'm sorry, if you run chef space dash dash version, let's see what that returns. Mm -hmm. You could also run a knife yeah. dash okay. dash version. No, it's, um, I have uh, 16.2. Right, and if if you saw from your vagrant instance, it actually is running 10.14. Exactly here, yeah. So 10.14.4 on the Vagrant instance and 10.16.2 on your workstation. Now, there aren't really any compatibility issues that we need to be concerned with, but just as a, a matter of course, why don't we go ahead and update the Chef version on your Vagrant instance so that they're both in line and at the same 10.16.2. Mm -hmm. So... Um, what we're going to do, we'll actually use a cookbook to manage uh, the chef version. So let me do a little screen sharing here again. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've gone to the community website. That's at community.opscode.com. Can you see that, Patrick? Yep. Okay, so one of the great things about Chef is that we have this wonderful community site. On the community site, there are a number of cookbooks that are available for download. You see those here on my screen. I'm just going to uh, click on this See All Cookbooks link. Mm -hmm. You'll see that there are hundreds and hundreds of cookbooks. I think we're uh, around 700 cookbooks uh, that are available on the community site. Now, these cookbooks do everything from you know managing databases uh, to applications uh, and so forth. The nice thing about these cookbooks is that they're all community driven. There are certainly many cookbooks on here that are managed by Opscode, but then the majority of the cookbooks just come out of the community altogether. You'll usually typically find, you know, source for these on GitHub and you in fact can participate with these cookbooks or can participate with um, the development of these cookbooks. Now mm -hmm. I happen to know that there's a cookbook that can be used to manage the version of Chef that you have installed. Okay. I'm just going to search for that cookbook here. I know it's called the Omnibus Updater Cookbook. Okay. So Omnibus is an installer that we use with Chef. And you'll see here that there's the Omnibus Updater Cookbook. Mm -hmm. The nice thing about uh, this cook this community site, let me show you just a couple of things. First, you can see that there are various versions of this cookbook that have been released. 005 mm -hmm. is the latest. The maintainer is this uh, is Chris Roberts. You can see some information about him. You can mm -hmm. get the information about how many times it's been downloaded and ratings and so forth. The mm -hmm. other thing that's really nice about this is that there's the source code tab. And when you click on this, you can actually browse the code for... Uh, any cookbook directly ah, on the community okay. site without even downloading it. Now, we want to use this cookbook uh, within your Vagrant instance. So let's just walk through the process of doing that. There are a couple of ways. First, you could come here and download it. And this is going to download a, a gzip file for you. But mm -hmm. what I prefer to do, instead of you know browsing around and click, click, click to get things, we have the knife command line tool and we okay. can use that actually to grab cookbooks. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and have you do some uh, screen sharing again uh, yep. and on your terminal. Okay, so Patrick, um, if you could uh, enter in this command for me, you're going to do a knife okay. space cookbook okay. space site, S-I-T-E, space download and then the name of the cookbook uh, so a space and then it's omnibus underscore in uh, updater updater oh, okay enter oh okay okay so what this has done is it's downloaded a tar gz of the omnibus cookbook for you or the omnibus updater cookbook mm -hmm. let's go ahead and extract that into your cookbooks directory 
Okay, so you're doing well, one second. Um, because we have distributed systems, this is now on my uh, laptop, or is this on my Chef's server account now? Uh, yes, that's a great question. So if you do an ls here, you'll see that the, the gzip file has been downloaded locally. Okay. It is not yet on your Chef's server. Okay, okay. So the first thing that we want to do is extract the tarball. So we'll do, yep. Yeah. There's and let's do a dash, oh, sorry. I was going to have you do one other thing, but that's oh, all right. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's just cp-r the omnibus updater into um, the cookbooks directory. cp dash, um, okay. Um, ah, okay, I understand. It must be, uh, okay. Right, so uh, now if you just do a quick ls, mm -hmm. yeah, you can remove the tar file first. Okay. Yeah. Very good. So you see that we've put our, our first cookbook into the omnibus. Uh, I'm sorry, our first cookbook into the cookbooks directory. So again, remember in our first session we cloned the Chef repo from the ops code uh, GitHub repository, and that gave us this directory structure which includes cookbooks, and that's where all of our cookbook files will go. Okay. Okay. So um, let's see. Now that we've done that. There are a couple of things that we need to do. First, I know that there happens to be a problem, uh, a slight problem with the Omnibus Updater Cookbook. So okay. let's just go ahead and, and work around that really quickly. If you uh, CD into Cookbook's Omnibus Updater, mm -hmm. if you do an ls-a here, you'll see that it includes a .git directory. That directory mm -hmm. should not be there. Let's go ahead and remove uh, the .git. Great. Okay. Okay, so now we can go back to uh, your Chef Repo directory. Mm -hmm. This might be a good time to go ahead and uh, commit the cookbook to our Git repository. Okay. Okay. Great. Now, in order for us to use this on our node, as you mentioned earlier, we need to have this cookbook exist, or we need to push this cookbook up to our Chef server. So mm -hmm. let's walk through the process of doing that. We're going to use knife to do it. So you're mm -hmm. going to enter a knife space cookbook space upload space. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, I'm um, a bit rushy. <laughs> yeah, uh, and then the name of the cookbook. So it will be omnibus underscore updater. Okay. And so because we're following this uh, standard chef repository layout here, Knife knows where to look for the cookbook. Uh, it's in your cookbooks directory, and it's going to push the omnibus updater cookbook up to your chef server. Okay.